In the ever-evolving world of mobile games, the last few years has delivered an exceptional lineup of open-world experiences that will leave you awestruck. From sprawling cities teeming with life to breathtaking natural wonders, these games have redefined what it means to explore virtual realms on your mobile devices. Prepare to embark on epic quests, engage in thrilling adventures, and forge your own destiny in the top 10 best open-world mobile games to play in 2024. So brace yourself for a feast for the eyes and a journey into mobile gaming like never before. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have Tower of Fantasy. This is the first game created by Hada Studio, set in a colorful open world similar to that of the smash hit Genshin Impact. In fact, this game also combines exploration-based missions and object quests with dynamic, fast-paced combat. The graphics are truly superb, thanks in large part to all the details supported by Unreal Engine 4. The textures for each scenario and character are something to behold, which is important as this game is also available for PC. Of course, as with other similar games, you'll need a high-performing smartphone if you don't want to suffer from lag. It has typical ARPG gameplay in which the animations and combat are constantly unfolding. The controls are well placed on the screen, making it easy to tap on each of the action buttons to unleash powerful attacks and energetic combos. Breaking into number 9, we have Sky Children of the Light. From the creators of Journey and Flower, much like the studio's previous creations, Sky focuses on inciting emotion and human connection. In Sky, you'll journey across seven distinct realms with the goal of reinvigorating its fallen stars. Darker, more perilous realms will light up brilliantly when you team up and cooperate with other players. Alternatively, you can enjoy the game's vibrant open-world setting, share gifts with other players, or smell the flowers. On top of that, Sky receives regular content updates in the form of realms and seasonal events. These are sure to keep you coming back to its wondrously wholesome world. One of the aspects that makes Sky totally unique is its system of interaction with other players, which is actually pretty similar to the one in Journey. Coming in at number 8, we have Dawnlands. Dawnlands is an open-world MMORPG where you will be immersed in a previously unknown island in which you complete various missions. After giving a personalized look to your protagonist, throughout each game, you will have to perform many actions to survive in the face of numerous adversities. You also can create your own weapons. Do not ignore any resources or tools. They can all become useful in different ways in the future. Fortunately, this is an extremely rich open land with a wide range of mineral resources from charming nature. You can find a lot of valuable items and materials in this world, although at first it may seem that you were on an island paradise. You will soon realize that the effects of various dark forces prevail in this adventure. Next up at number 7, we have City of Outlaws. This is a sandbox action-adventure video game that immerses you in a world where criminals rule the streets, and you can join a gang. In this title, you'll assume the role of a gangster who returns to his hometown after a big heist and finds that rival gangs control all the capital's neighborhoods. When you start the game, you can choose which gang you want to join from a list of teams that will define your character's past and style. After that, you can customize your main character by modifying his facial features, hairstyle, hair color, height, and many other characteristics. Once you arrive in the city and run into the neighborhood sheriff, you can start completing missions in this open-world multiplayer game. The main objective of this game is leading your gang and helping it recover its lost prestige. Down to number 6, we have Goat Simulator 3. In the landscape of open world games, not many are as ridiculously over the top as Goat Simulator. If you couldn't get enough of the shenanigans in the previous entries, then Goat Simulator 3 has your back. It's the newest open world addition to the open world repertoire on mobile. The game brings all of the PC and console features to mobile, without sacrificing any of the content that makes the series so great. It boasts a ton of customization options for your goats and an equally robust selection of quests to complete. The premise of Goat Simulator is refreshingly straightforward. You play as a goat, travel the world, headbutt people, steal cars, and cause general mayhem within the game world. Moving on to number 5, we have Ocean Horn 2. Oceanhorn 2 is an open-world adventure game developed by the Finnish studio Corn Fox & Brothers. It was first released in 2019 exclusively on Apple Arcade and was later brought to Nintendo Switch. The story of Oceanhorn 2 is a prequel to Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas and takes place exactly one millennium prior to its events. 
This time, Warlock Mesmeroth has returned with his Dark Army and seeks to claim the throne and rule the kingdom by any force necessary. Oceanhorn 2 managed to attract me visually with a very vivid and colorful world, a world that contains quite a lot of detail. Hits the nail on the head when it comes to gameplay. I was always looking forward to exploring the beautiful environments, searching for every treasure or hard-to-find bloodstone. Next up at number 4, we have GTA Vice City. This is now available on Android and iOS, courtesy of Netflix Games. Upon release, we immediately went hands-on with GTA Vice City to record 20 minutes of gameplay. This way, everyone can see how the game performs on our testing device. You can see in the recording that the remastered games contain improved visuals. Things like better lighting and high-resolution textures with increased draw distance and quality of life features like Grand Theft Auto V's controls. During our time with GTA Vice City, it became clear that the visuals were better than the PC and console versions of the game. The good news is, there are plenty of ways to tweak the gameplay settings to suit your playstyle, from driving inputs to the camera distance while in the car. Coming in at number 3, we have Lost Future. Lost Future is an open-world survival game in a world plagued by zombies. When you start the game, you'll have to create your own character and customize their physical appearance. After this, you'll appear in a post-apocalyptic world with excellent console-quality graphics, which is full of towns and cities to explore, as well as zombies that you must kill. The world of Lost Future is set in the Appalachian Mountains of North America in the fall of 2035. In this world, you'll find everything you need to survive including weapons, food, medical kits, and other resources. In addition to consumables, you can find other items that will allow you to improve your weapons and equipment. The story in Lost Future is divided into chapters, where you'll gradually learn how the zombie apocalypse came about. Next up at number 2, we have Car X Street. Car X Street is an urban massive open world racing game where you can move freely around Sunset City in search of races and challenges. After completing them, you'll earn money with which you can get more cars or improve the ones you already have in your garage. In Car X Street, there are several types of careers. The most common ones pit you against other racers. There are also drifting competitions where the winner is whoever gets the most points with the longest drifts. Driving is very simple and you'll have three methods of vehicle control to choose from using buttons, a virtual steering wheel, or the accelerometer. Customization is another highlight as you can create unique cars and modify almost any aesthetic element you can think of. The graphics are excellent, they're as good as any similar game for consoles. And finally at number 1 we have Genshin Impact. Unless you are a proud owner of a Nintendo Switch, Genshin Impact is the closest you're going to get to playing Breath of the Wild. It combines the open-world setting of Zelda with vibrant anime-esque visuals. Genshin Impact takes you across the massive world of Teyvat. In Teyvat, you'll come across adversaries and treacherous dungeons, but also allies and moments of respite. Your journey revolves around seeking out the seven gods, each representing one of the world's elements. They also play an important role in the game's intricate combat system, as you must use them wisely against enemies with opposing elements. But in case the going gets tough, you can join forces with other players online. Genshin Impact has received numerous content updates so far, adding more replayability to an already robust open-world experience. And there you have it, folks! Which one are you most excited to try out? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow gamers, and of course, subscribe to Android Tools for more gaming goodness. Until next time, keep gaming and leveling up!